I know the reason why you came back to Lion King especially was because you felt you cracked the code in the Jungle Book. So what did you crack in the Jungle Book? Well, we, uh, Jungle Book, you know, I've been working on both these movies back to back for about six years. And all the new technology that was available, uh, I had finally learned how to use it by the end of the Jungle Book. And, and at that point, with the team that we had uh, assembled for it, all the artists, because a lot is uh, a lot of attention is paid to the the technology, but really these are handmade films. There's animators working on every shot, uh, every environment that you see in the film. Uh, other than actually, there's one shot that's a real photographic shot, but everything else is built from scratch by artists. And we had a great team assembled, and then the idea of using what we learned on that, the new technologies that were available to make a story like Lion King, with its great music, great characters, and great story, seemed like a really a, a wonderful, logical conclusion. And so that was something we set out to do. And then how long did you work on the film? Because I saw the footage at CinemaCon two years ago, and then you slowly teased it out to the world, and it broke the internet with 224 million views in the first 24 hours when folks got to see you and I got to see two years ago. So how long have you been working on this? Well, I've been working about, about three years on this one, and, and a lot of them have been working uh, for the same amount of time because they came in back when it was pencils. So it was a huge leap of faith for this, this fantastic cast we have, and, and of course, you know, musically, Lebo M and Hans Zimmer, who were so involved with the first one, to trust that it would turn out well was a big leap of faith for everybody. And in many cases, they kept coming back and recording again and trying new things, especially with the comedy bits. So, uh, although it, this isn't like one of those things where I've been toiling away alone, it's been a, a huge raft of artists, uh, people who uh, were involved with developing the musical landscape of it, doing early recordings and coming in and contributing through improvisation, redoing scenes, rewriting scenes. So this this team here isn't just a bunch of people that recorded one time at a, as a music stand and, and uh, come here for the press conference. These were all people who are collaborators and filmmakers along with me. 